I'm sitting here praying and hoping that it wasn't true. I remember when Zoe came to Bama in 05, like, Zoe was one of the few recruits that I think it was like, let's go, like, we got him. And the dude, great dude, great dude, like, it hit, man, because he was one of those guys that I was really genuinely happy to see come here. called him Fishburn, you know, because he looked so much like Lawrence Fishburn. And we always had fun. You know, it was always a pleasant exchange. You know, I never had a bad exchange with him. You never seen anything bad from him. And, you know, he was a leader on and off the field. So, you know, he epitomized what Alabama football is. Knowing that, you know, he's passed away, it hurt. It just, it took a little bit of your life and your heart out of you. He was just a great guy, just a fun, loving guy, just a, a really, really good guy. You know, he was always just a fun guy, but he grew into a better, better person, a better man, and 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 a, and a better overall, better player. He just kept growing, and he took he took that that uh, that uh, the criticism from coaches and everything like that. But he, and he did he never changed his fun attitude. He always stayed the course. And that's that was one reason why, you know, he got to go to the NFL. You don't play your best, but you find a way to win. Third and ten. Garcia flushed and sacked. Lorenzo Washington. The Georgia blackout game where he wrecked everybody up front. I or, mean, he destroyed Matthew Stafford, bro. Matthew, Matthew Stafford, yeah. wasn't the same. <laughs> he wasn't the same after that, man. Converted their last third down, but had the turnover. <laughs> Stafford under pressure, couldn't find that receiver initially. Throws this one out of bounds, and the Alabama sideline wants an intentional grounding call, and they might get it. It's the ground, number seven. He gets outside the tackle, but he doesn't get it across the line of scrimmage because of the pressure from Lorenzo Washington. You're not going to hear too many bad words about so. Um, reached out to me several times on social media. Um, just cool dude, man. Um, stayed in his lane. Extremely strong. Um, he was a he was a family guy. I could tell you that. Um, so, but man, I have nothing but the utmost respect for him. It definitely. Uh, it definitely hit home just because, you know, that's somebody that you you personally know. You know what I'm saying? So um, I just definitely send my condolences to him, his family, his little daughter, and his mother. When they say we got to include their family, man, um, especially his daughter and his mother, um, because she's going to marry somebody just like him far as being of his caliber, and she needs to know, you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, how good of a man that he was, um, how strong he was mentally, physically, um, just gifted all around.